What's up, guys? Let's have a conversation. So recently on social media, John Mari, who is a known celebrity blogger and he's been in the industry for many years, he called out this cancel culture and how he believes that Chrisette Michelle, who was canceled, shall we say, for performing at the inauguration for 45 it should be time for her to get uncanceled and get the same type of chances that people have just continuously given Kanye West. So he tweeted recently, since our culture is so hyped about Kanye West's Donda album, it's time to uncancel Chrisette Michelle. I hated her singing at 45's inauguration, but Chrisette Michelle never disrespected our history slash ancestors didn't rock a MAGA hat, and never ran a covert campaign to sway an election. Now, say what you want about her performing at the the inauguration, whether you believe it was right or wrong. I don't know if her explanation was going to convince people that she wasn't, you know, just in it for the money. I believe that she was doing it for the money. It was for the check, honestly. But, you know, she tried to say something along the lines of her performing at the inauguration could be, you know, her like creating a bridge and she's willing to take the stones that people throw at her if it means that she's going to be a bridge to bring those who oppose this guy serving versus those that do together but we all know that the people who were the majority supporting the the 45 and the inauguration and all that stuff didn't even know who Chrisette Michelle was at that time and could care less about who she was after the fact because if they did then they would have possibly brought her under their wings but I don't even think that she was there for that either she wasn't trying to be like a Stacey Dash and uh Candace Owens type of figure she was just a singer that was performing at the inauguration but she was also performing with a man who is a gospel singer by the name of Travis Green and this dude he is killing it in although he's not in the same music sector that she is He is in the music industry nonetheless, and he is killing it in his genre. He is killing it with the money. He's killing it with the views. All of his releases that come out, they are successful. And he was not canceled at all. I don't think I ever really heard anyone making any comments about him at all. I don't think I remember anyone really saying anything about him. I remember watching some videos where people were talking about her playing the clips of her playing, singing, I should say, at the inauguration. And he was right there with her. They were singing together. It was a duet. It wasn't she was performing first and then he came out after her or vice versa. They were actually performing his song together. His song, All Things Are Working For Your Good. So I never heard anything negative about him performing and him being canceled or him being called out. So I don't know if that has anything to do just with him being in the gospel industry, but I do believe that a lot of it has to do with him being a man. Because yes, people have called out Kanye and maybe some people feel like, well, Kanye was too big to cancel. And then some people feel like cancel culture isn't a real thing. But this just goes to show you that cancel culture, it is real but only for a certain demographic. It'll only affect those who are pretty much marginalized. And when it comes to the marginalized population, that equates to minorities and females are considered a minority. And yet Kanye and Travis Green are black men, but they're men. So there's that. So it's only really the marginalized that can truly get canceled. And so she being, two of those an african-american and a woman it is sad to see but it was really like nothing she could really do about it so it's being reported by the jasmine brand that she 
suffered a lot under this cancellation and it was pretty tough for her. She went through and suffered a miscarriage and it, it's just really hard. So she, she shared some things, she shared her thoughts and she said some things regarding this cancellation. So she shared it in a post and she was responding to what John Murray said. So she said, should Chrisette Michelle be uncanceled? I always wonder how to respond to this question. It's actually the reason I don't do interviews anymore. Being compared to Kanye and Travis for the last five years, watching them soar into the highest realms of stardom, waiting on God's hand to show me exactly what my story will look like. I've made a choice to stay full of gratitude and master peace, but today this post has inspired me to allow the energy of comparison to enter my feed. I think most of the comments are well intended and I'm not really attached to the results of the conversation, but it is an interesting topic. Kanye endorsed him, Travis sang with me, and time unfolded. What do you think history has proven in this tale? What do you think five years ago? What do you think today? Would you release new music if you were me? Would you sing about what would it be? Who would you sing to? Why? What does my role as, all caps, female, play in this story? What about my role as Christian? How about my role as it compares to Kanye and Travis? I've made a choice to stay full of gratitude and master peace. That line right there, it, that's, that's hard. And a lot of people wouldn't be able to do that. I, I know that it's not easy. I can't even imagine all of the days and nights that she has probably like cried uncontrollable tears and just tried to understand what all of this even meant. But after she did that performance, she lost her album distribution deal. And a lot of the radio stations, they wouldn't play her music. So doing all of these things happening in her life, she suffered a miscarriage. And she also experienced, unfortunately, because people are idiots, a lot of death threats, and of course, a lot of criticism. But here we are right now, Kanye West, he's releasing this album due to, not due to, but under a lot of critical acclaim. Yes, there are people that are criticizing him negatively, of course, but this is his 10th studio album and the dude is a freaking billionaire. And Travis Green, he continues to experience success in his career. So what do you all think? I actually really, really love, still do, Chrisette Michelle and her songs and her music. And I remember once mentioning it to a client of mine and she was like, nope, nope, I ain't buying it. I don't buy what she said. She's full of crap and whatever. And I was like, wow, is that okay? Like you really took what she did, which was a job, it was a gig that seriously she was performing a gig she was not endorsing him and it didn't even matter if she had or not because it was the freaking inauguration it was not like she performed at a campaign rally leading up to the elections and he hadn't even been elected yet like this is the inauguration at that point so she really didn't have a choice in the matter. She was just doing a gig. It was a job for her. So she didn't get out, like she said in her post, she didn't get out on a platform and say that I fully support this man. I stand 100% behind him, MAGA with the red hat and all of that stuff. Like she was just performing and this is what happens to a woman versus Travis Green who was performing with her and he has continuously experienced success. And then you had Kanye freaking losing his mind, whether, you know, you believe he has the right to support who he wants. Absolutely. Or if it was just some bipolar moments that he was having, but he was doing the most for 45. And I believe that he still would today, but he allow he is allowed to continue to reign in his genre. He is continued he, he is allowed to continue experiencing success. He has not been canceled at all. And I mean, yeah, he has definitely 
received a lot of criticism for things that he has said, like comparing a lot of things that he said about slavery and saying that it was a choice. And in, in some essence, I understood what he was trying to say, but the way that he said it, it was, ex it was extremely offensive um, to, you know, our ancestors, to those who suffered through slavery. And it was a lot of offensive moments that he said when he had the campaign rally in South Carolina and when he was supposedly running for president and just a number of other, other things that he has said and done. But here he is continuing to experience success. He has been welcomed with open arms into the world genre and into the church world because now he is in both he's playing both sides of the fence so i don't know you let me know what you think about it in the comment section but i applaud john murray for coming out and saying that it, i believe that it takes a lot of bravery there are probably a lot of people in this comment section that are disagreeing with him and calling him out for standing for chrisette's uncanceling if that's a you know a real term but i agree with him and i I appreciate his bravery and calling that out. So she may never be uncanceled. I don't know. I don't know if she even wants to put herself back in a position of being in the spaces with those who pretty much just threw her in the garbage and said later for you, even though she has amazing talent, extremely gifted. I love her voice and I do believe that she has a true gift, but I really know, I don't know how I would feel if I were in that situation about the people or, you know, I, I would definitely probably be questioning my faith a bit as well. I'm just being honest, honestly, just being honest. So guys, thank you so much for liking, commenting and subscribing. And until the next time, I'm literally just being beautifully honest.